Hi, this video is coming in with a request by a fan who's interested in buying the 2019 MacBook Pro but has heard that the 16 inch has issues with the fan. So in this demo I'm going to stress test the machine a little bit and show you guys that with my setup I don't have the issues that are described in some of the blog posts. So what I have is I have a microphone set up close to my fan so that you guys can hear the noise as I run things. I don't have anything open right now besides my screen recorder. So as you can see, the memory is low. I don't have anything that's up besides my VPN. That's SSD. So first, what we're going to do is open up some basic things like my mail. Then I'm going to get into video editing. I'm going to export a video and then we'll get into gaming and we'll see how all this happens. So right now I'm connected to one IPS 27 inch monitor and that's going through one USB dongle and I'm actually going to connect a second monitor to see if it makes a difference. Let's see what my resolutions are set to. So my 28 inch monitor you can see this resolution. This is my 24 inch monitor and then the built in screen. Nothing has happened with the fans. Still seems pretty quiet. So now let's open up a web browser. I'll open up Firefox. Let's see what Tesla's at. Not too hot today. No issues. I'll also open up Safari. I'll go YouTube. So now we have a video playing. Web browser's open. Still not seeing much happening with the fans. And I have a 4K video that I'm going to be releasing soon. It's doing a little bit of rendering, so you saw that it increased a little bit, but still no fan noises. Um, this video is not done, but we're going to export it. It's currently in a 4K format. And once we export, you should hear some fan noises, and then you'll be able to tell that, okay, this is the highest, and then you'll listen for you listen for it to see if it continues to sound like that. And I must say, having the 56M graphics card really does a good job with exporting. Everything moves very fast. This is actually my first 4K export. I usually do 1080p, but we'll see how long this takes. In the meantime, I'm going to show you my specs. So I have a 2.4 gigahertz 8 core i9 processor with 16 gigs of RAM and I'm running the AMD Radeon Pro 5600M with 8 gigs of video memory. And I also have the upgraded processor. So we're hearing the fans kick in a little bit. I mean, even with the 16 gigs of RAM, you'll see that it's not really eating all of it. You know, I have more than half of my RAM still available to me. A lot of it is happening with the GPU, and its memory being 8 gigs is also fine. It hasn't even used half of its memory, and we're almost done with the video. 
This is about as loud as the fans really get. But I'm expecting it to shut back down once this video is done. So now we're in Affinity Designer. You can see Final Cut Pro is still the one eating up a lot of the processing power, but I still have more than 50% idle, and its memory hasn't even peaked. So it's a little above 50% of its graphics memory. And the RAM is still... Yeah, I'm still only using 5 gigs of active RAM. Yeah. Now we can move things around. This video is still going. Fans haven't got any louder. Once this video is done, okay, so that stopped. Let's see if it does drop back down before I start playing any games. I don't want to close too much. I'm really just trying to show that the fans do come back down once it's done with major processing. Give it one more minute, and if it doesn't shut down, I'm good on it start to close a few of these apps. Okay, it looks like its load has dropped. The fans are starting to get quieter. So keep in mind, I'm s I still have my two monitors connected, and I'm running all of these apps right now. So the fans have quieted down, but it's still not silent because maybe I do have a few things going on. So let me close Final Cut Pro. Still hear the fans a little bit. Okay, it's pretty much quieted down. Let's close everything and see if it gets any quieter than it is now. Okay, I think it's back to normal. I'm gonna open up a game and then we'll see how loud it gets from there. So as you can see, I'm getting over 100 FPS in the menu and we'll see once I start what it looks like. I do not have a mouse hooked up. This may get bad. I can't do this with the trackpad. Fans are increasing a little bit.
getting slaughtered. Can't go out like this. Spray and pray. Alright, we're done. You probably hear the fans again. We'll see how long it takes to kind of shut down. Starting to cool down a little bit. It's not fully cool yet, but like with the Final Cut Pro video, it does take a minute or two before it cools down once the processing is done. But I wouldn't say that it has a fan problem. I've never heard the fans come on when I wasn't doing anything. And I showed you, you know, I can have video editing open with multiple browsers, I'm screen recording, I'm on two monitors, and we didn't get any fan noise until I started to export Final Cut Pro videos. And then, even in the very beginning of Counter-Strike, it wasn't necessarily running hard in a windowed view, but then later it decided it needed to use the fans. So my conclusion is with the specs that I have on my MacBook Pro, there's no issues. And I'm guessing it's due to the 5600 graphics card. Um, for me, I was given a good machine that I'm very happy with. So if you're looking to buy it, all I can do is recommend the 5600M version of the Mac with whatever other specs you want to get. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this was insightful. Comment below if there's anything else you want to see. Let me know what else you guys are dealing with on your Mac and we can have a discussion. Don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe for more. And also check out the Discord link in the description. Over there we can talk about technology, software, whatever. So thank you guys. Have a good day.